Guys, I did it. I finally cleaned up my depression den. Don't look at my bed. It's all nice and sunny in here and cheery. And today we're going to do a fun little unboxing of these bitches. Hey, dumpster divers, and welcome back to a new episode of I'm on Spring Break and I got my mohawk finally but I've been working all week and I haven't done anything for spring break. Um, the only thing I ha have done is like not any schoolwork, although I could be doing some, I've just been lazy and haven't been in studio. I figured since it's my spring break, we can also celebrate the girl's spring break. The only one I couldn't get was Ciara. She was completely sold out, which I get because out of all of these, she's probably the most stunning. And then I love Oceana's like very um, Easter-like colors. Uh, Finley's probably the most boring to me. And then we got Miss Old uh, Hoochie Mama Nerd over here, who I'm really excited is part of the new thing. I think her name is Reina. Yeah. I don't know what happened to Mari because she's like my favorite out of all of them. But let's bring you guys for a in for a closer look at their beautiful packaging, which has the really good illustrations from uh, Darko Dark, I believe, on Instagram who I will link their Instagram below. They've been doing a ton of like artwork for different doll brands lately, and it always looks fantastic, but the Mermaid High ones are my favorite. So here are the girls up close. There's quite a bit of glare because they are in those plastic bubbles, but they look super cute. They are cheaper than the originals, but they do come with less. So the price point matches the amount of stuff in them. With Raina's packaging, we have our hair streak changes color in the sun, two-in-one mermaid play removable tail, watch on YouTube kids. And I haven't been keeping up to date on it, but I know it had a dramatic like ending. Then spring break Raina, and then there she is looking like she wants you to subscribe to her OnlyFins account, link in her bio. And then of course we have Miss Finley looking super adorable, albeit basic as fuck, and Oceana and her beautiful artwork. And then of course on the side we have their beautiful mermaid drawings where their tails always look fantastic. And then the back of their packaging all looks the same, just with different colors. So we'll look at the back of Reina's. As you can see that like Ciara one where she looks like a freaking sea goddess. This cute little artwork we've seen uh, kinda leaked a while back. And girls just wanna have sun, good vibes. Dive into spring break with these motherfuckers. Mermaid Best Friends Forever at Mermaid High. And then it tells you everything they come with. And then there's also this cute little QR code if you guys want to scan it. And it looks like it'll just take you to mermaidhigh.com or something. And then Spin Master. But let's go ahead and get these unboxed. All right, guys, here they are outside of the box. And you know, for being, uh, I think like, five or six dollars less. They still come with like quite a bit. So we have Raina. Um, I haven't put on her glasses yet because I wanted you to see like her face sculpt, her makeup, her dark hair, these cute little pixel barrettes in her hair, her um, asymmetric earrings, her slutty schoolgirl outfit, which I'm in love with. Uh, the pixel heart thing is kind of a little cheese ball, not gonna lie. And then these are cute little pixelated shoes. And then her glasses that kind of look like a game controller. And then there she is with her glasses on. We have this beautiful blue skunk hair. Okay, and then Finley, I was talking massive shit, but look how freaking cute she looks. This little crochet top, like they didn't have to go that extra and hard, but they did. Um, yeah, she looks like she's going to like a festival. And I am, I absolutely love this. And then she comes with this cute little uh, bracelet. The tail is just so pretty and psychedelic and just huge and gorgeous. And then she comes with these cute little blue shoes that have like some flowers on them. But yeah, um, they went hard with Finley. She looks amazing. <clears throat> and then Oceana could not be cuter. Like her makeup is so pretty. Her necklaces are a little Florida cheese ball, 
but this cotton candy hair that she's got going on with these little buns on top is stunning. And it just fits like her overall motif so well. And then she's wearing ath athleisure again. She has like uh, printed on details but it's very um, similar to her original tail, but different. And then this is actually made out of like wetsuit material. It's, it's all stretchy and stuff. And I think that's just a cute little um, extra touch. I don't know. I think these are blowing the mermaid dolls out of the water, like. <gasps> I'm not gonna lie. When I heard MGA was gonna come in with some mermaid dolls, I'm like, uh-oh, goodbye Mermaid High. But Mermaid High does a better job. They. They don't do like the super mega traditional mermaidy stuff. Like there's scales and stuff, but I mean they went like all pixelated with her, athleisure with her, but they're still cohesive. The mermaids dolls just look like six different designers were told to make a mermaid and then they just threw them all together. Like there's no cohesion, but these all work together and they just look way cuter. They don't have those demon eyes. <laughs> that look like they're gonna pull you under and try and murder you. And then of course, Oceana's cute little platform shoots that are still Florida cheese ball with the palm tree, her cute little wavy sunglasses, and then her visor. But let's go ahead and put these guys in their swimsuits, which are already on underneath their tails. So cute. And here they are, all humanified with all their accessories on and everything, their cute little swim trunks and their shoes. And then obviously these stands don't come with them. These are like some cheap knockoff Kaiser stands that I got that aren't quite the height for 11 inch dolls. But if the doll is a lighter doll like these, it'll hold them down a little bit better because the metal's heavier than the doll. So yeah, um, ultimately um, I love these. I'm actually really impressed that these are like their more budget friendly dolls. Um, the colors are great. The theme is great. Like the hair is great. I don't know. I don't know what their hair is made out of. It's the same as series one, um, but I I like the mermaid high hair. It's not the best hair, but it's not awful. Um, and I don't know. I just think they're really cute. And um, this is definitely like a line for me though. So take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. I could definitely have a bias, but um, I'm impressed. Uh, I'm super excited to get Ciara whenever she shows up. I heard she's been showing up at Walmarts and stuff. So maybe I can like get her up with my Walmart. But my Walmart takes forever to get anything. It's one of those really small ones. Um, and right now they have the, uh, what is it? Like the Junior Rainbow High Sunny and Jade. And those are my two favorites from that line. And I'm trying really hard not to buy them because uh, they have no stand, they're smaller, they don't have a second outfit and they're only like $2 cheaper than the original dolls. But they're cute, damn it. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think. Um, I know people weren't really on board with series one because they were like as much as Rainbow High and they came with two outfits like kinda, you know? But I liked them, I think they're great. Um, I know that a prom series was leaked, so hopefully this line is doing okay. I want it to do good, I want it to go forever, not forever. Um, but for a long time, but I know that's not always the case with dolls. It's sometimes it's kind of hard. All right, guys, that was it. This is probably pretty quick. Oh, and then for anybody who was keeping up with me in Rome, um, I talked to my professor because I was having like apprehensions about going and everything. And then maybe I was going to do like a UK study abroad and all that stuff. And, um, guess who's contractually obligated to go. So I'm going to go to Rome anyway. And, um, we talked. I think he and I came to an understanding and then we should be good from there. So yeah, um, get ready for me to do some vlog style shit or something this fall, I don't know. And then maybe get some crazy like European dolls that I can't get my hands on over here that easily. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next episode where I'm definitely not jealous that my dolls are having a better spring break than me. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, you did look like you were filming some very adult-friendly content, but um, here you're just like an adorable little nerd. But your artwork makes you look super hoochie mama. And then Finley, I apologize because I thought you looked basic as fuck, but you are so cute. And Oceana, we knew you were gonna kill it. I'm a 30-year-old man apologizing to my dolls.